Corbin Carroll is 23 years old, and he joins Dustin Pedroia as the only rookies with three or more hits in a winner-take-all Game 7 in the history of the postseason. Uh, PD had five RBIs and a homer against Cleveland. But this was the Corbin Carroll game. This is where America got to meet the face of the Arizona Diamond. I know Cattell Marte was the NLCS MVP. Corbin Carroll is the future. He's he's that guy. And Cliff, you kind of you have a unique perspective. In 2008, you were a veteran on a Tampa Bay Rays team. Where yeah. Your best player was the rookie Evan Longoria, right? It was, and I told him so many things about you're gonna have dark days. You're gonna have days where you're gonna hate the game. You're gonna have days where you're gonna love the game. If you can stay even kill, it's gonna help you at some point in your career. You just gotta stay. The, you gotta stay the course. And he looked at me like, "What are you talking about? You're crazy." But I'm, we're gonna get to Corbin Carroll <laughs> and how good he is. But you know what? I'm looking for Longo to get his first ring. But you think about, let's go back to Game Five when you talk about his youth and some of the inexperience of him trying to do too much and maybe overthinking the situation. Goes back to second base, slides in, never scores in his inning. But look at this: if you know where Trey Turner was playing, he never goes back to the right, bag, right? right? So we talked about you and you and I. And then he gets in this position where you're like, man, you got to score this run and get back in this game. There's two none Phillies right there, and you don't get that run, and you're thinking, dang, here we go. But guess what? You get the NLCS game six, and look how he runs the bases here. Once he recognizes that this ball's down the corner, it's giving Cass Allen some trouble, he's not stopping. And I don't need a third base coach to help me with anything. I'm scoring. That's how fast I am. That's how athletic I am. I'm going to do these things. He wanted to put his handprint on it and take it in his court and make sure, you know what, I'm fast enough to make this. Even though Bryce Harper is one of the best athletes in the game, he hasn't played first base. All. Right. So I'm going to make him make this throw. It has to be a perfect throw to get him out. And now you're in a position where you can do these type of things. When you talk about manufacturing, you came into this game with two stolen bases. You leave him with four. And now you're feeling like, you know what, going to the World Series, this is who I am. Because you're not going to get him out at any point. Everything has to be perfect. And that's the one thing you love about his game and that table setter mentality. But this is a bat against Jose Alvarado is what takes the cake for me tonight. Right? 100, 101. Now you're sitting one, two. I need a pitch. I don't need that pitch in play. I need a foul off to get this pitch, get the ball in the air. And now we got that extra run that gives a chance to breathe a little bit. So when you think about Corbin Carroll, he talked about it just a minute ago. Dark days, you have no, you have no idea how where they take you. Other than hoping that you get to the park the next day. And these stats right here speak to staying the course. You, you, you have to understand the magnitude of the pressure of being who he is. You get the big deal. Now everybody's looking at you as being the catalyst. You have to be the guy. You don't have to be anything. Because when you look at tonight's game, he has to realize this is who he is. And if he goes this way, they go. He's the best player on the team. And he's a rookie. 